Let's uninstall the left panel. Counterclockwise the two screws. Remove the contents within the case. This will be undoing twist ties and removing the manual. To uninstall the front panel, hold onto the case and from the bottom of the panel, pull away. Now let's uninstall the right panel. Remember, it's counterclockwise for the two screws. Next is to uninstall the back case fan. Counterclockwise the four screws. Remove the 5.25 inch bay cover slot. Next is to push down the CPU latch and move it to the side, then pull off the latch. There are two alignment keys located at the top and a pin one and arrow at the bottom corner of the CPU socket. Align them with the CPU's two notches in its triangle pin one. Now, push down the latch and return it to the side until it's secure. While removing the CPU socket cover, this completes the CPU installation. Install Intel's fan heatsink. Align the push pins with the motherboard holes. When all the push pins are aligned, push down each one. Also connect the fan connector to the CPU fan. Counterclockwise the M2 screw. Install the M2 solid state drive to M2M. Clockwise the M2 screw. Push down each latch from DDR41. Install the RAM by aligning with the DIMM slot. Push down from each side until it's fully installed. Now let's install the power supply. The four power supply screws, provided by Corsair's 450-volt bronze 80 plus. Clockwise the screws, but don't completely install them. Now it's okay to fully install the screws. This completes the power supply installation. Within the case, route the power supply's cables through the hole. The Input and Output Shield Install the Input and Output Shield within the case. The Six Motherboard Standoffs 
They are installed with the correct format. Align the motherboard's holes with the standos, while also aligning the I.O. ports with the I.O. shield. The six motherboard screws. This is optional when I'm combining acrylic washers with the motherboard screws. With a screwdriver, clockwise the screw to install the motherboard. Tighten the motherboard screws until they stop moving. Connect one of the four pin from the CPU ATX connector to ATX 12 volt. Reinstall the back case fan. Clockwise the four screws. The four case fan screws, these were purchased. Install the 120mm case fan to the front of the case. It's an extra case fan I had available and wasn't used. Remember to clockwise each screw. The 3 pin fan splitter. Connect the 3 pin fan splitter to system fan. Insert the 3.5 inch hard drive to the 3.5 inch bay. The 4 hard drive screws. Clockwise each screw to install the hard drive. Remove the 5.25 inch bay cover from the front panel. Reinsert the 3.0 USB and the front panel cables within the case. When ready, reinstall the front panel.
Insert the optical drive into the 5.25 inch bay. The four optical drive screws. Clockwise each screw. Connect the 24 pin ATX to ATX. Connect the SATA to the optical drive. Also connect the SATA to the hard drive. Connect the 3.0 USB to FUSB 3.0. Pause to read the front panel diagram connections. The 2-pin hard drive disk LED positive and negative. Connect the hard drive disk LED positive and negative to positive HD negative. The 2-pin reset switch. Connect the reset switch to negative RES positive. The 1 plus 1 pin power LED positive and negative. Connect the power LED positive and negative to positive PLED negative. The 2-pin power switch. Connect the power switch to positive PW negative. Connect the 2.0 USB to FUSB. Connect the HD audio to F audio. The two SATA cables. Connect the right angle SATA cable to the optical drive. Connect the SATA cable to SATA 3.0. Connect the straight SATA cable to the hard drive. Connect the SATA cable to SATA 3.2. Now reinstall the right panel. Clockwise the two screws that came with the panel. Connect the AC cord into the power supply. Press the 1-0 switch to 1. Plug the AC cord to an outlet or a power surge or a UPS surge protector. If using a power or a UPS surge protector, then remember to turn it on. Press the power button to test if the computer will turn on.
The computer remains on, which is good. Turn off the computer by pressing the power button again. Don't forget to remove the AC cord. Reinstall the left panel. Again, clockwise the two screws that came with the panel. And this completes building a computer. Thanks for watching!